But I think what's been really fun about Team of the Week is when you get a team that, that maybe hasn't had a ton of success over the years and, and then they do have some. And we get to go out and, and showcase them, celebrate with them in some cases, celebrate with the whole community. In some cases, like Robinson this year, where they were at a pep rally and said, come over for the pep rally. And I think it's been a lot of fun for the kids to be able to, to be recognized, even for some of the smaller gains as opposed to winning a state championship. You have a good couple of weeks, all of a sudden you're Team of the Week, and that's pretty exciting too. I hope people see somebody that loves what he does. I hope people see somebody that they would like to say hi to if they see him out somewhere and, and chat with. And, and I love getting to cover the games and the kids. You know, I, I've come to a place here at KWTX where we make an enormous difference every year. And to be a part of that was just awesome. I want to make a difference in our community with the tools that I've been given and the opportunities that I have. And I think being here has been the perfect fit for me in that regard because of the way KWTX feels about that and the way that the people here at the station embrace those kinds of things as well. It's kind of, you know, the pillar of, of what we'd like to do all the time, which is tell you how great some of these kids are, not only athletically, but in other aspects of their life. A lot of these kids in classroom champions are great in academics. A lot of them are, are very involved in their communities outside of the classroom, in the athletic field or court. And to be able to share those stories, I think, is kind of at the heart of everything that we believe in and, and want to do here at KWTX, because it showcases the best of Central Texas, not just in one aspect, but, but people that are well-rounded and doing a lot of good things at the pro level that there's some negative stuff, but at the high school level with what we get to do, I mean, I, I feel like I get to do the fun stuff. You know, I get to brag about people's kids and high school and college athletes that are out there doing not only good things on the field, but a lot of times good things in the community. Um, you know, and it's a lot of fun. You know, there's a lot of negative in the world, but you know, we get to tell the good stories. We get to have a lot of fun with these kids and get to know them and, and see all the great things that the kids and, and their families are doing here in Central Texas. we're going to be good influences in the community, we're going to be role models, then let's act like that and let's, you know, pick people up instead of beating them down. But we're going to emphasize the positive. When a kid makes a great play, we'll, we'll do that. You know, and I think that's a philosophy that I kind of developed over the years. I mean, I, I don't see the reason to be negative all the time. There are stories that you have to tell when things go wrong. At the same time, there's so many good things to celebrate. Let's focus on that and let's do that. It makes a lot more sense to us and I think it's a lot more fun for the viewers and the people at home.